G'day guys, Scotty Lyons here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful stew over the open coals in a camp oven. It's something that I love to do every time I go camping. So what you need to make a great stew over the open fire is a decent camp oven. Now, camp ovens come in different sizes. It depends how big the group is you're trying to feed. We've got four or five people we're going to feed tonight, so this is a good size camp oven. You want some cheap cut of meat. Now that's chuck steak. That works fantastic for stews. A good mix of vegetables. I've got some pumpkin, potato in there, carrots, sweet potato, some celery, and just a good mix. And you can add into that whatever you really want to add into it. There's no real recipe for this. And then I just use some of this uh, classic uh, beef pots, hot pot. It's just a seasoning powder that goes in. It makes it, uh, gives it that nice flavor. And some olive oil to brown our meat to start the dish. Okay, step number one is to brown our meat. Now, preheated our oven on the open coals. So, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. Now by browning the meat, it caramelises it, gives it a lovely flavour before we add all our vegetables. Well as you can see, the, the meat is browned off really nice now. It's time to add our packets of seasoning. So two packets of the seasoning, classic hot pot, and then just stir them in, guys. And we'll let that go for a little bit longer, and then it'll be time to add our veggies. Now with any camp cooking, the most important thing is a good fire. I've built a good fire, we've got a good bed of coals there. So what I'm gonna do now, is put a pile of coals here, for our stew to go on. Never ever cook on the open fire, you'll just burn the bum of your stew. Oh, smelling amazing. Time to add our veggies. Put the lid back on and that can sit there now for quite a few hours. It's like a slow cooker. We'll just add a little bit of heat as needed. Okay, it's had a good 20 minutes. As you can see, it's ticking along nicely. Just, I'll give it a stir up now. And bring all those lovely flavors up. Now with the vegetables, you won't need any more liquid. You'll find that this will turn into a nice thick stew. And right at the end, if you do need a little bit more liquid, you can add a bit then. Okay, that's looking fantastic. Let's put the lid back on that. In about a half hour's time, we'll check it again. Right, our stew's had a few hours now. Look at that, absolutely looking fantastic. And I'll tell you what, she's not far off uh, being served up. The veggies are all starting to break down. The potatoes are still looking nice. The meat's cooked. I reckon another half an hour a little bit more heat and she'll be ready to go. Well, our stew's had all day cooking, guys, and I tell you what, it's smelling amazing. Time to plate up. Look at that, looking fantastic. Big chunks of veggies, plenty of meat. And plenty of juice down the bottom. I tell you what, when you're camping, nothing beats a good fire, a good hearty stew, and to top it off, a glass of red wine. Life doesn't get better than this. Now tune in next week, guys, for another fantastic clip on The Hook and the Cook, and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.